Hi everyone. In today's lecture, we will discuss about static variables in Java. So, what do we mean by static variables? See, if a variable is declared inside the class but outside the methods or blocks or constructors with static keyword, then it is called as static variable. Now, let's see the syntax for static variable. So, basically, this is the syntax for static variable. This is what a journal variable declaration but we have here a static keyword also so here the variable is declared with the static keyword that is the reason this variable is what a static variable so basically static variables are class variables for which memory is allocated at the time of class loading and static variables will be destroyed if class is unloaded from JVM or when the JVM will shut down. In Java applications, static variables data will be stored in method area. We will see about the method area in future. Don't worry. So basically, in method area, every class bytecode is loaded and stored. Inside method area, class level binary data including static variables will be stored. Right? So basically, static keyword can improve the shareability in Java applications. How it can improve the shareability? We will see just after this slide. The memory for a static variable will be allocated one time for entire class right at the time of class loading now let's understand the concept of static variable by the help of real time example suppose there is one bank and the bank name is axis bank now a bank can have lakhs of customers right and the details like account number name of the customer father name pan number and Aadhaar number can be varied from customer to customer. Am I right? See here, I have explained these things clearly in the instance variable section. And for every customer, see the field values or the attribute values are changing. Like account number is different for this customer. For this customer, it is different. For this customer, it is different. Right? Same goes for the name, father name, pan number and the Aadhaar number. So the attributes like account number, name, father name, pan number and Aadhaar number can have different values for different customer objects. Am I right? That's why these attributes should be declared as instance variables or object level variables. I hope this thing is already clear to you if you have seen my instance variable lecture. Now tell me one thing. Here, the bank name field has a common value that is Axis Bank because all the customers belongs to which bank? Axis Bank here in this example, right? We are talking about the Axis Bank customers. As it is a common value which are shareable to every object, every customer object, that's why this field which field bank name field should be declared as static variable. Let me explain you in another angle. Here the bank name has the value access bank. Am I right? It is a common property for all object, right? I mean all the customers here belong to access bank. So such variable, such variable should be declared as static variable. Static variables generally stores common value which are suitable for all the objects. Right? So if the value of variable is not varied from object to object, then it is not recommended to declare variable as instance variable. We have to declare such type of variables as static variables. Remember this point. See, the bank name value is not varying from object to object here. For all the customers here, the bank name is common, that is Axis Bank. So why should we declare that bank name property as instance? It should be static because static will be loaded only one time. Okay, at the time of class loading. Okay, we have just seen this point. 
so i hope it is clear to you now let's discuss how can we access a static variable okay see first see this point for static variables memory space will be created only once when the class is loaded it means in case of static variables a single copy will be created at class level a static value variables values are shareable just now we have seen na, that a single copy will be created at class level and and it is shareable to every object right static variables are shared across all instances of a class or you can say when a variable is declared as static then a single copy of the variable is created and shared among all the objects at class level just now we have seen in the banking example am i right now let's discuss how can we access a static variable see in java application static variables are accessed either by using object reference or by using the class name to access static variables it is always recommended to use class name directly because we cannot guarantee the existence of the object right and as we seen that this static variable is what a class level variable right only one copy of the uh, variable will be created at as class level so there is no guarantee uh, that someone will you know create an object of the class in order to access the static variable so it is always recommended to use class name directly if you want to access the static variable within the class okay within the same class where it is declared then it is not required to use the class name for accessing the static variables we can access directly also we will see all these three points in one example don't worry about that now let's see the syntax to access a static variable first class name then dot operator then you have to provide the variable name this is what the syntax to access the static variable now it's time to see how to access a static variable in eclipse id right let's go to the eclipse id and i have this oops concept project i have this com.navin package right click here new and i'm creating one class and that class name i'm giving is what static variable variable demo static variable demo I want the main method inside this and finish it up. Now see, I want to declare this is what see what I'm doing here declaring declaring and initializing a static variable. How can I do static int a is equal to 10. So this is what the declaring and initializing the static variable clear with this point now inside the main method which is of static type i want to access the variable a so suppose my first thing is what accessing accessing the static static variable by using class name i want to access by using class name so how can i do right like this sys out control space now how can we access using class name class name dot variable name right what is the class name here a static variable demo is the class name dot what is the variable a dot a done okay it is done if you want to run right click run as java application see here you got the result as 10 so you are able to access the static variable by using class name the second thing i want to access i mean accessing the static variable directly 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 just now we have seen one point that if you want to access the static variable within the same class where it is declared then it is not required to use the class name for accessing the static variable we can access directly also that we are going to prove here so same sys out okay 
now here accessing directly just write a right click run as java application see here you got 10 again same thing right clear with this also and the third one is what accessing the static variable accessing the static variable by using by using reference of object reference of object so for this first we have to create the object of this class so static variable demo stv is equal to new static variable demo constructor call right we have already seen how to create an object now once the object is ready by using the object reference you can call like this stv dot a now right click right click run as run as java application see you got 10 once again see here what is this the static field static variable demo dot a should be accessed in a static way it is not a static way of accessing you are creating an object and and then you are accessing a static field it is not recommended my friend it is not a good practice because anyhow this is not going to be a part of object right instance variables are going to be a part of object so why should one have to create an object of the class and in order to access the static variable it is not a good practice right so always remember one thing avoid this one avoid this one completely now go back to the ppt let's see the next so this is what the example i have shown to you and this is what declaring and initializing static variable so what will happen at this line static int a is equal to 10 this got created right one copy of static variable got created in the method area where the value of a is what 10 and because of this line a static variable demo stv is equal to new static variable demo okay this object got created which is of which type static variable demo type and this stb object reference variable is pointing to this object i hope it is clear to you now